All right, so this next uh, memory device is for beta blockers. So beta blockers are an extremely common cardiac med. And they there's beta 1, beta 2, and actually there's also beta 3. But we're just going to talk about beta 1 and beta 2 adrenergic receptors. So beta 1 adrenergic receptors are mostly found in the heart, while beta 2 adrenergic receptors are found in the lungs, GI tract, vascular smooth muscle, skeletal muscle, and liver. So your beta 1 blockers act primarily on the heart, and your beta 2 blockers act primarily on the lungs. And it's really important to remember which ones do which, because some beta blockers medications are selective and about which beta they um, block, or they're non-selective and will block all of them. So beta 1, heart, and beta 2 is the lung. So in a really easy way to remember that is you have one heart, so beta 1, and you have two lungs, so beta 2 with your lungs. It's super easy to remember, and hopefully you'll never forget it with that one. It's really important because there are, let's say you have a patient that needs a beta blocker, but maybe they have asthma. So if you're giving them something that blocks everything, including, you know, the lungs, that could really affect the asthma and make it worse. So things things can be contraindicated, like if they're uh, non-selective beta blockers. So it's really important to remember what you're blocking and which ones. So beta one, one heart, beta two, two lungs. This has been another episode of the Nursing Mnemonics Podcast by NRSNG.com with your host, Katie Kleber, RN, CCRN. To grab all of our nursing cheat sheets, head over to NRSNG.com slash freebies. That's NRSNG.com slash freebies. Thank you so much for being here today. We love you guys. We thank you so much. We want to see you guys succeed. Listen, we're all in this together. Now go out and be your best self today. Happy nursing.